Hello YouTube and welcome to our next video. This time it's a package from ASUS and it's a brand new ASUS phone pad. It's a 7 inch Android tablet similar to a Google Nexus 7 but with a phone function. So texting and normal phone calls on a 7 inch Android tablet without any root, any friggling around, nothing, just out of the box it works. Two colors are available, silver and gold. We got the gold version. And another thing is special about this tablet, it got an Intel Atom Z 2420 CPU, a single core unit. So let's see. There we go. Let's pull out the tablet and put it aside. What else is in the box? We got our warranty card here. We got a quick starter guide here with uh, all the stuff that comes with it. And quick explanation for all the buttons and and and. Then we got our micro USB to normal standard USB cable and our ASUS USB charger here. No headphones, no Bluetooth devices, nothing here. A little bit strange for a phone tablet. So let's see. Um, there we go. First impression 340 grams. Easily to hold with one hand. Uh, screen looks a little bit really glossy. It's not Gorilla Glass, um, but well, let's find, figure this out later. Asus logo on the button, bottom a speaker and a 1.2 megapixel webcam. Left side, nothing. Bottom, micro USB and your headphone jack. Left side, volume buttons and the on-off switch. On top, nothing, a microphone. No camera on the backside, not here available in Germany. In some Asian countries you get a webcam there. And what else can we figure out? Let's check under the hood. You can pull this off. And there you go, micro SIM slot and a micro SD card slot. It supports cards up to 32 gigabytes and it comes with 16 gigabytes built in. Backside looks like silver aluminium, but it's plastic. So, first impression, okay. Easily holding it to hold in one hand. It's really familiar to, to Nexus 7 owners, um, but with the telephone function, without Android 4.2, it's still got Android 4.1 on it, I believe, and that's probably it. And the special feature, it got the Intel Atom CPU. And I'm really looking forward to testing how this one will compare in power consumption and performance to the normal uh, HRM CPUs. So, this is it. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video and bye!